A warm welcome to TVET Lecturers. I'm Amanda Skinner from Macmillan, and today I will explain the updates to the N4 Computer Practice Farming Curriculum. I will also show you why the DHET approved TVET First Students Book and Lecturers Guide is the best course to choose for teaching this subject with ease. The updated curriculum will be implemented in January 2023. Let's start with the major changes between the previous curriculum and the new one. The subject name has changed from Data Management Farming to Computer Practice Farming. The syllabus has been thoroughly revised and updated to reflect modern trends in computing. All the learning outcomes are new and have been renumbered. All the module weightings have been changed. In the new curriculum, 70% of the syllabus is practical and 30% is theory. Eight periods per week which is equivalent to six hours per week, have been prescribed for this subject over the semester. The curriculum provides a suggested time allocation for lessons, as well as practice and activities for each section. Outdated technologies have been removed from the curriculum. For example, MS-DOS, diskettes, joysticks and plotters. Newer technologies are now included. For example, the World Wide Web, search engines, social media, and cloud computing. Two modules have been restructured. These are 1. The old module 2 on keyboard or mouse proficiency has been incorporated into module 1 called Introduction to Computers. The old sections on proofreading and proofreading symbols have been removed. 2. The section of the old Module 3 on the Computer Operating System has also been incorporated into Module 1. All references to MS-DOS and DOS commands have been removed from the syllabus. There are two completely new modules, which are Module 2 and Module 5. Module 2, called Networking Concepts, introduces students to types of networks, network hardware, the internet, the World Wide Web, social media, piracy and privacy, and other networking concepts. Module 5, which is called Cybersecurity, Legal and Ethical Aspects, introduces students to the impact of ICT on the environment, cloud computing, search engines, other online activities, digital citizenship, cybercrime, copyright, plagiarism, and content usage rights. In addition to the two new modules, the revised Module 1, which is called Introduction to Computers, includes new learning outcomes on the concepts of ICTs, the digital world and digital citizenship, system technologies and the information processing cycle, and the role of the operating system and using the Windows operating system, including file management and using utility software. There are also several new outcomes in Module 3, Word Processing. One of the new outcomes requires students to describe the garbage in, garbage out principle, which is abbreviated to GIGO, using a word processor document. Some of the new word processing skills include 1. Inserting objects such as pictures, clip art, headers or footers, and text boxes into a document and modifying the size, position, layout, and appearance of the objects, and two, modifying and formatting tables. Students are also required to master new skills in Module 4 spreadsheets. For example, they need to export or save a spreadsheet in a format such as a PDF or a text file, and identify problems based on error indicators. The 2023 curriculum provides more guidance on evaluation. The final mark consists of a semester mark and an exam mark. The semester mark is out of 100, made up of 30% theory and 70% practical. There is a three-hour external examination paper of 200 marks, which is broken up into 30 minutes of theory and two and a half hours of practical. This exam takes place at the end of the semester. Mark allocation in the question paper follows the weighting of the modules. As you will have realized, the practical component contributes much more to the final mark than it did previously. 
The 2023 curriculum stipulates that written assessment must be in line with Bloom's taxonomy scale. This has not changed from the old curriculum. That completes the summary of the curriculum itself. I'm now going to give you a quick tour of how TVET First Computer Practice Farming N4 helps students master the content of the new curriculum. We like to keep studying easy, and our students' book has easy to follow content with clear explanations, diagrams, and photographs to help students engage with new content. The textbook includes lots of labeled screenshots, which help students to become familiar with the computational environment. There is plenty of step-by-step -step guidance to teach new procedures and help students develop their techniques. There are varied practical activities to ensure that students develop and practice their computing skills. Exam-style questions in the summative assessments ensure that students are prepared for tests and exams. No good course is complete without a comprehensive lecturer's guide. The TVET First Lecturer's Guide has many extra resources, guidelines and support which make teaching easy and reduce preparation and marking time. The Lecturer's Guide includes a six-month suggested teaching plan, a photocopyable lesson plan template and learning outcomes which are clearly mapped to the student's book content. It has complete answers to all students' book activities, summative assessments and questions. It has four exam practice tests and seven class tests, each with memoranda to help students prepare for exams. There are also optional extra activities for students who are getting through the work quickly and need some extra challenges. The lecturer's guide helps you to teach specific sections by providing discussion aids that you can use in class. We have also packaged a USB drive with the lecturer's guide with digital resources including all the tests and memoranda, lesson plans and all the useful answers in Word and Excel. Choose the best support available for the Natet Farming Management Program. Choose TVET first.